Today's top five Wednesday is top five characters you wish you could drown. So let's do this. It's Liddy here. I haven't done a top five Wednesday in so long. It's so exciting to finally be doing one again. This week's topic I'm kind of going to interpret liberally. I'm a pacifist. I don't want to drown people. Oh ah, no. But I'm just going to pick five characters that really frustrate me and annoy me and that I want to, you know, kick some sense into because ah. So let's get started. At number five, I have gone for Mare from Red Queen. She drives me around the bend in the way she is constantly referring to the princess and being like, oh, I like him, but I like him, but I like him, but I like him. And it's like, ah. And also like, she's engaged to one of them and she kisses the other. And it's like, seriously, seriously, ah so frustrating. My number four is Bryony Talis from Atonement by Ian McEwan because even though when she's very young she makes this mistake she gets older and she soon realizes she's made a mistake but she doesn't admit to it and why not because she could have just solved so many problems and it's like Arr. so many people had shitty lives because of something she did when she was a kid that she just didn't go back and admit that she was wrong. And it's like, what is wrong with you? Be a decent person. Arr. At number three, I've gone for Alina from the Grisha series by Lee Bardugo. I actually really love this character at the beginning of the series and this is why it really frustrates me I think because she had so much potential she could have been such a good character and then as soon as she met the Darkling it's like she falls apart and it's just like I. I also really don't get why everyone likes the dark going he is horrible a dick what is wrong with you people as the series progresses she still feels pity for him she still feels sorry for him even despite of all the horrible things that he has done both to her and just to everyone in general it's like what is wrong with you woman get your act together so she drives me around the bend and I would want to drown her to knock some sense into her at number two, I've gone for Quentin from Paper Towns by John Green. I don't really like this book very much in general anyway. The only bit I do like is the very end, which he's not really involved in. I find him so annoying. He just, oh, he's just such a, uh, I mean, yes, she is an idiot. She leaves all these clues, but it's like, get on with your life, mate. You know, she's left, she's run away. Stop trying to like, find her or follow her or whatever it's just really he just he just really annoys me i'm sorry i have no intention whatsoever of seeing the movie of this because i just didn't enjoy this book at all yeah and at number one i've gone for kate from gates of thread and stone by laurie m lee if you saw my reviews of this you'll know that i really didn't like her at all she is so aggravating the number of times she is in a life-threatening situation and she is quite literally worrying about the fact that her arm is grazing against this her love interest's arm it's like really really she's so immature and like oh my god you're on this life-threatening mission stop thinking about this stuff it's just like and it's it, every page I'm not exaggerating every page she talks about how much she's desperately in love with him and it's like oh my god so so frustrating I really don't like her at all the annoying thing is The Infinite which is the second book in the series I bought it because the story itself it has potential and I really like the kind of idea behind it but she is so frustrating. I don't know whether I can actually read it and not just want to throw it against the wall. Oh, she dries me round the bend. So that's my top five characters I wish I could drown, but not really because I'm a pacifist, so I just want to shake some life into them. I will see you again tomorrow with another video. You're getting four videos this week, say so what? But until then, bye.